Are you new to the planner world? Do you need help choosing your planner? Let's go through some things that I have learned, tried and true questions to help you in this vast, huge planner world to make the best choice for you and waste the least amount of money. I share my own personal planning here as well as planner reviews every week. Videos go up generally on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the exciting videos that I have coming up. All right, I have some notes down here for me to go off of. I have been reviewing planners here on YouTube for seven years now. I've been an avid planner user my whole life. I don't think the planner world has ever been bigger than it is now. The paper planner world, as well as digital planning, we are inundated with ways to plan, which is amazing on the one hand and can be very overwhelming on the other hand. If you are relatively new to the planner world or just overwhelmed with choosing your next planner, here are some things I would tell you to think about first. Number one, what kind of a layout do you need? I have some down here to, to walk us through. Are you someone who would like a full page per day? So you want a daily planner that has a full page for every day of your week. Generally, we'll have a time blocking schedule and a notes section. There are so many different daily page layouts, but if you want a daily planner, it's generally one page per day. Some book bound daily planners can have two pages per day. Or if you just use a bullet journal style or a notebook for your daily planner, of course, you can use two pages per day. So think about it. Do you need a whole page per day at least? Or are you someone who prefers to see your entire week at a glance? Do you just need a weekly planner? This is a vertical layout where you can see your entire week at a time where you can have appointments plus to-do lists for the week and you just cross off things as you go and you can see what you've done earlier in the week, what's missing. I recommend if you are new to the planner world and you're not sure, starting with a weekly planner, being able to see your entire week at once. Then you have to think about if you're in a weekly planner, do you prefer a vertical layout, seeing your week laid out vertically? Do you need an hourly layout where you can see hourly in your weekly schedule too? Or do you need a horizontal layout, which gives you just more room. Let me grab my horizontal. A horizontal layout, which gives you more room for if you would like to use it for journaling purposes or daily gratitudes, or you're just someone who likes to write more of like a sentence to do. And you can, your mind works with seeing your week going down horizontally instead of across vertically. There are all these luxury planner options that I just held up for you in the planner world, but there are also great planners at Target, at Staples, at Walmart. So if you're new to the planner world, I really recommend that you go into those stores and you just start to look through them. You check them out. They're much cheaper than all the luxury planners that I review here on my channel. Yes, I have some better priced options on my channel too, but for the most part, you're gonna be able to find something less expensive at Staples, Target, or Walmart, not always. And when these big companies have big sales, like Erin Condren has big sales, you can actually get her amazing paper. I mean, it's 80 pound, it's amazing. It, it just does not compare to anything in Target for like a fraction of the price. So you just have to watch for those sales if that's the planner that you really want. But checking them out in the store, just being able to look at layouts and be able to become a little more familiar with planners versus only looking online is really helpful. Watching planner review videos is really helpful, not just mine. There are so many amazing ones on YouTube. They can open your eyes to new planners, to new ways of using all these planners. There are so many creative ways. And so check out all those YouTubes, go into the store and check out planners. Then I believe your mind's gonna start settling on what you want. Then you can come home and think about, is portability really important to you or is it always gonna be at home? Do you want your goal setting to be right inside your planner as many planners have now these days like Moxie Life? Or would you like your goal setting completely separate from your planner like Power Sheets from Cultivate What Matters? Really think about your lifestyle, about the season that you're in and about what you need your planner to do for you. Do you need your planner to house only to-dos and appointments? Or do you keep all your appointments in your iCal and you only need your planner to house to-dos? I know my sister Molly does that. I double up. I like to see my appointments in my iCal for when I'm out because I don't bring my planner with me, 
but I also like to have them written right in front of me in my planner for the week. So think through those needs in your life. Do you need to have room for meal planning in your planner? Do you need to have room for homeschool plans in your planner? Uh, do you have like some separate church job that you need to be able to fit in your planner? Do you want your work and your personal to-dos to all go in one planner? Or do you want a whole separate planner for work? I know many people who do that. So think through these things. What you need your planner to do for you in the season you're in is going to really determine what kind of planner you pick. So once you've thought about daily versus weekly, horizontal versus vertical layout, bound versus coiled, and you've thought through what you really need your planner to do for you, then I would suggest you go to the planner companies online. So many planner companies offer free printables of their layouts. Some, like Passion Planner, even let you print their entire planner for free. So if you didn't wanna buy their planner, you could print Passion Planner the entire year for free. You could take it to like FedEx office and have it coil bound, and you could have your whole planner for the year for the price of printing and coil binding it yourself. Other planner companies offer you free printables for just like their daily page or their weekly page. So many companies offer that. Go to all the websites of the planners you are interested in. Now the biggest planner company, Erin Condren, does not offer that, but many, many of the other planner companies do. Plum Paper even offers a layout book where you can buy all their different layouts in one book. I talk about that in my latest Plum Paper video and I share that book. You can buy, I'll link that video down below, all their different layouts in one book. So not only can you try out all these different layouts, which, which might also help you even if you're buying a planner from another company to try out these layouts, but it also lets you try out the Plum Paper paper because there's something I haven't mentioned. Paper is so important, right guys? To us in the planner world, we love paper. The feel of the paper, does it have tooth, like texture to it? Hmm, like a golden quail and Erin Condren. Or is it a really smooth paper, like Moxie Life, but not slick? The pound weight of the paper really matters. People who are in the planner world generally care about paper. So pay attention to what kind of paper that company offers, if that is something that's important to you. That also has a lot to do with price point. And in every single one of my review videos, I talk about paper weight. I talk about feel of the paper. We do pen testing with highlighters, pens, and markers. And I show you the ghosting. We talk all about the paper in the planner in every single one of my planner review videos. So besides printing the free printables, I would also recommend that if there's a company that has a layout that you like, but they don't offer free printables like Erin Condren, draw out that layout. Just draw it out on a piece of typing paper and use it for a week or two. Give it a try and see how it works with your brain and the flow of your days and the flow of your life. See how it would serve you. All right, and to wrap us up, I wanna mention, think about the size of the planner. I know I mentioned that earlier, portability, but I do think size is really important. If you are only keeping your planner at home like I do, then size might not matter as much to you. You might say, I have enough room on my desk for this passion planner, medium size to be open. It will fit on my desk and that is fine. Some of you might say this is way too big to fit on my desk. My desk is small. I need a planner always open in front of me, but I cannot have a planner this big. Whereas a book bound will take up a lot more room on your desk than something with a coil that you can leave flipped open to just that one page. So really think about room and portability, even if you're not taking it in your bag every day, just think about your desk size. Cause I've heard from so many friends who, they might have picked up a Laurel Denise planner and they might say, I love this planner. I'm trying to see if there's a page I can show you. This is my content planner. Um, I'm just gonna open it so we can see the size. But sometimes you need this planner open all the way to see all your goods. You can watch my review video and see why. And this is big, you guys. So if you have a small desk, I don't know if that's gonna work. Um, but if it's just you know open halfway, you say, do I have enough room for that on my desk? So look at the size of your planner. Also, you can buy planner stands. Erin Condren used to sell these. I'm not sure if they're on their site anymore. It's an acrylic planner stand. It holds my Laurel Denise content planner open for me, yet gets it off the desk. I know so many people who have bought planner stands off Amazon too. They are like cookbook stands or book stands, but they work perfectly as planner stands. 
So definitely check those out and think about, well, I do want this bigger planner and I just need to be able to see my week. I don't need it on the desk at all times to write on. And so if this could sit up on a stand, then it would work for me. So thinking about all these factors before we spend 50, 60, even more on these luxury planners is really important. That's the whole reason my channel is here. I want to show you as much as I can in my review videos and be pretty unbiased in my review videos. In my personal videos, I share all my personal opinions and I share some of my personal opinions in my review videos too. But I try to give you a pretty unbiased review and just share everything about that planner and really talk about the paper, different ways you could use it, um, the layout, what makes it stand out because it's hard to choose a planner from only seeing it online. I wanna make that process easier for you and also for you to waste the least amount of money. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you be able to navigate this huge planner world. And then I share my own personal planning here because I think that seeing each other's planning is not only fun, but it also gives me ideas, triggers things in my brain like, oh, that little part of their planning might work for me. That might help a pain point that I have. So I think seeing each other's personal planning helps us. I'm also a very functional planner. So if you wanna see someone who's not afraid to make their planner you know, look like it's lived in, it's used, it's not my hobby. I don't do pretty spreads just for Instagram. I actually do my real life planning. I actually need this to run my life or I will not be able to get anything done in my home and business and homeschool. You guys, I love planners. I love reviewing them for you. I love talking about them. I love having all these planners in my hands and being able to try each one out. And I am happy to answer any questions you have and help you out whenever I can. I have discount codes for so many different planners and they are all down in my description. I have affiliate links where if you're purchasing a planner and you click through my affiliate link, nothing changes for you. The website looks the same. You still sign into your account and get your points, but you are showing the company how many people I'm bringing to them and I make a small percentage of the sale. So if my channel has helped you, I would be so grateful whenever you are purchasing a planner from anyone that I have an affiliate link down there from, if you would click through my link to the website when you're purchasing. Thanks for being here, guys. Good luck on choosing your next planner. I'd love to hear from you down below. Um, any questions you have, any pain points you're having with your planner right now, we all might be able to help each other out down there in the comments. Take care of yourself so you can take care of others and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.